Since you've completed all the previous lessons and quizzes, you are ready for the lessons on intelligence analysis, which make up the heart of this course. In this section, we discuss how to select the right technique and learn how to apply the specific techniques shown on the overview slide. Let's begin this section with learning how to select the right technique. Ultimately, the result of your analysis depends on the soundness of your thinking. However, the value and accuracy of your analysis can often be affected by the technique or combination of techniques you employ to help structure your analysis. Unfortunately, it is easy for the analyst to select a less than appropriate technique and go astray. For this reason, I have grouped the techniques that best lend themselves to aiding descriptive analysis into this section and will provide a short description of each as an intro to the section. Sorting is a basic technique for organizing data to yield new insights. Sorting is most effective when you can categorize information into separate elements for comparison. It is especially effective during the initial stages of data gathering and hypothesis generation. Chronologies and timelines are used to organize information about events or actions. These are used to understand the timing and sequence of events and to correlate key data and identify gaps. A matrix is a simple grid with the appropriate number of cells for the problem being studied. It is a basic analytic tool to sort and organize data for comparison and analysis. Matrices can help the analyst more easily identify relationships. Decision and event trees are used to identify alternatives and choose from several options the one that best optimizes the desired goals or preferences. This method is often employed by many intelligence analysts to see a problem from an adversary's perspective. Link analysis is used extensively within law enforcement and the intelligence community to identify and monitor individuals or an element of a target network. This technique will help reveal behavior and map relationships between people, computers, components, groups, or organizations. The term link analysis, network analysis, association analysis, and social network analysis are used interchangeably. ACH requires the analyst to start with a comprehensive and mutually exclusive set of hypotheses. However, this standard can often be met by starting with an initial hypothesis and generating the null hypothesis. Analysts then take each item of evidence and one at a time judge its consistency with each hypothesis. The idea is to refute hypotheses rather than confirm them. The most likely hypothesis is the one with the least evidence against it. I hope you've enjoyed this short introduction to this section and that this information will help you select the most appropriate technique to structure your analysis. The following lessons in this section will teach you how to apply each of the structured techniques.